Hey, my name is Gala. I'm Looker Studio expert and the founder of Gallery Reports. On my website, you can find Looker Studio dashboard templates. I worked in marketing for more than 10 years, and I spent a lot of time with paid ads. That is why I decided to create this paid ads dashboard. I will add it to the website after this video, so it will be here on paid traffic section. This is essential dashboard for Google and Meta ads. This is one page dashboard and I use for that Windsor I connector and I will explain you why I did use it and why do I like it. So, first of all, I connected here my own Google and Meta ads and I didn't run Facebook ads campaign recently, so let's change uh, our based thought 30 days data range to, for example, um, last quarter. I don't run a lot of ads, uh, just uh, to present you some data. Uh, so this is one page dashboard. On the top you have a logo. By default you have last 30 days, but you can change it. On the top of the page you have two filters, data source and campaign filter. If you click to data source, you can see that we have together Google and Facebook ads data on this dashboard. And for that, I didn't use um, Looker Studio join and blend data sources. Um, there were some difficulties, some moments about that. And that is why I changed uh, default blended data in Looker Studio blended data to Windsor connector. And the second filter that we have here is campaign filter. And here you can see Facebook and Google ads campaigns and you can uh, see which kind of campaign is it. Uh, then we have uh, scorecards with main metrics. So impressions, clicks, CTR, cost per click, like basic, basic stuff. And uh, second row of scorecards, uh, we have cost, transactions, conversion value and array, uh, rows. Uh, then we have Google Ads campaign breakdown and what is interesting here, uh, here is nothing here, uh, what is interesting here in this section, you can um, drill down from campaign to ad group name and uh, you can change, op uh, you can remove some metrics if you don't need it. So this is Google Ads campaign and uh, if you scroll down, you have the same section with Facebook Ads campaigns where you can uh, drill down to ad set and uh, same logic you can change some metrics or like just um, i don't need for example uh, post actions here and we can you can reduce number of columns and see it here i think this dashboard is super easy and i really like because it shows you main data from two platforms and I think, yeah, it's perfect. Let's go to edit mode and see how, what is interesting we can find here. Uh, first of all, we have only one connected data source here. As I said, I don't use blended data, manage blends, here is nothing. So I connected one data source and I blend data on uh, connector level. Let's check uh, how did I connect my data source. If you click to resources, manage edit data source, you can see uh, that I have only one connector. Let's connect it from um, again, just to explain how did I do it and how you can replicate this data source to when you buy this template. So just cl let's click add data. Um, let's go to Windsor. If you need this connector, before you start to do it, I really recommend you because, okay, you see account selectors and here you can see my Google Ads, Facebook and YouTube because I connected it previously to Windsor. So, you click this link inside this connector, you just click this link and you have a window open where you can connect your, your data sources. So here you set up, for example, I need Facebook. I already 
selected Facebook. Uh, when you do it for the first time, click to grant Facebook ad access and add your account. Just do authorization. It will be two clicks. And then I can connect Google Ads. I already did it. Uh, so when you do it for the first time, connect your Google Ads account. For example, I don't have other ads running, but for example, uh, you could have Microsoft ads. You connect your Microsoft ads account and that's it and close the window. After that, you come back to your Looker Studio, refresh the page and you will see uh, add a new data source by Windsor. And now you will see your account, connected account. For my case, I need Google and Facebook ads. And I can click add. Mm, let's wait. Yeah, because it's doing uh, the con connector doing join um, in the real time. It takes time, but it's fine. I can click add. What is going on? Okay. Uh, we have a pop up, add to report. And now we have new data source connected to zero charts. Uh, and uh, this data source, I will remove this table later. Um, let's rename it. So I explain uh, what should we do. Uh, yeah. Um, new. Mm -hmm. So our table connected to this new data source and already data, data source. Uh, and this new data source already joined data from Google and Facebook. So you don't need to do join. I'm waiting to pause. I'm curious why. Mm, resume updates. Um, data source um, cost impressions. So this data source already. Has, has data from Google and Facebook Ads account and you don't need to do join inside Looker Studio. As you see, it already has Google Ads and Facebook Ads. So if you connect in Windsor, you can connect Bing, you can connect TikTok Ads, whatever you want. You can uh, add it to this dashboard the same way and data will be aggregated. And I think this is super cool and it makes your life much easier and you can connect more accounts here. Um, so that part is, looks simple, but I think it's really powerful when you have several data sources. And uh, you know that if you want, if you use many blends, Google Studio blends, you have limitation. You have some limitations here and you can add only five accounts. Uh, with Windsor, you can add wherever mm, you need. So I think that's is it about this template. Hope you like it. I really like this template differently. What is this? I just don't like this. <laughs> A small, small message, but uh, I really like this template. I think it's super useful if you work with Google and Facebook ads and uh, uh, it will save you time to analyze, to do analysis of your ads. Also, uh, it saves you time to prepare this dashboard by yourself if you buy it in my online store. Subscribe to my channel, give me a like, leave comments and talk to you soon.